If you were ever foolish enough to think that inanimate objects weren't scary, then you haven't been watching the right horror movies. Everything from car tires in rubber to refrigerators in the refrigerator to beds in deathbed the bed that eats have had spooky makeovers into objects of insurmountable terror. Whether they've been cursed by an angsty witch or brought to life by another angstier witch, what looks like an innocuous little item can hide far more than we give it credit for. Power comes in all shapes and sizes, as horror movies have proved time and time again. But let's get serious here. What are the innocent objects that can really mess you up? Not all tat is created equal, and some toe the line between life and death with terrifying consequences. In any case, I am the angstiest witch, Ash from What Culture, and these are the 10 most powerful items in horror movie history. 10. Button – Drag Me to Hell What starts as a simple button is soon transformed into a harbinger of doom in Drag Me to Hell. Yes, you might look cute in that lovely coat with the decorative flourishes up the sleeve, but having anything an angry hag can yank off in the midst of a fight is a recipe for disaster. And that is exactly what happens to Christine, the poor soul. After denying an old lady alone and sending her away in shame, the woman comes back to place the curse of the Lamia upon her, ripping a button off her outstretched arm and muttering evil and a good dose of bad breath all over it. The button then becomes a conduit for the Lamia demon to haunt Christine, able to be shifted only through gifting it to someone else to bear the curse for her, which she fails to do. Owning this button really is an unavoidable, horrifying, one-way trip to hell. Having it in her possession results in Christine's damnation of her eternal soul to the underworld. And really, what is much worse than brutal, inescapable punishment for as long as time itself exists? 9. Sentinel Spheres Phantasm what is so scary about a little metallic ball? It's just a shiny lump of metal, right? Nothing more than a hopped-up ball bearing with a self-important size. At least, that's what you'd think looking at these things in Phantasm before they jump into the air, whiz to your face, and turn your eye sockets into fine pulpy jelly. Then you won't be thinking much at all. Phantasm is one of those wonderfully weird movie franchises that makes no sense, and really doesn't want to either. It features a central antagonist known as the Tall Man, killing and repurposing people around a mortuary, who commands the use of silver balls, known as Sentinel Spheres, as one of his tools to do so. Sentinel Spheres are on this list for a number of reasons. but their swift, supernatural flight abilities, stealth and speed, as well as their deadly arsenal of weapons that include everything from lasers to drills should be enough to solidify their positioning. They're created by putting a human brain inside, which is then warped to be susceptible to the tall man's telepathic influence, making the spheres themselves, before they even become anything resembling a weapon, insanely powerful. 8. The Mirror Oculus a handful of the powerful items on this list are made scary when they're in the wrong hands. But what about when the object itself is a thinking, feeling, sentient being fueled only by causing misery? That is downright terrifying. Able to incite hallucinations and make anything appear as things they are not, both light bulbs and apples, and deadly ghosts and loving fiancés get interchanged, for instance, the mirror is the ultimate mind-melting machine, and has survived hundreds of years whilst harvesting the souls of the people it lures to an early death. Unable to be understood, destroyed, or even just damaged in any real capacity, one crack is all that shows in an object that can convince you to starve yourself to death or chew through a power line in the blink of an eye. It is a big contender. 7. Laundry Press the Mangler. Based on a novel by Stephen King and starring horror royalty Robert England, you'd be forgiven for thinking that The Mangler was an incredible movie lurking in the depths of the 90s, forgotten to time and by fans alike to be rediscovered as a hidden gem. Let me tell you, dear watcher, that if you have not seen nor heard of The Mangler, then it is for good reason. It is not a good movie. Realistically, though, it is still stupid good fun, and features a demonic laundry press eating people up that stand too close to its guzzling metal maw. But that is not what makes it mad powerful. Oh no. Its real power comes from consuming antacids partway through the movie that contain deadly nightshade, which then transforms the machine into a monster with a mind of its own. Able to move of its own accord, tearing apart anyone in its way, the laundry press goes from bad to worse, and sends the movie from ridiculous to outright mental. Either way, you wouldn't want to meet this monstrous mangler in a warehouse anytime soon. That's for sure. 6. Annabelle and the Artifact Room The Conjuring Universe 
It's easy enough to include the basement and all of its cursed contents from the cabin in the woods in a list like this, as some cheaters' extension of what constitutes as an item. Each one brings together a twisted horror story plot, with the room itself serving as a collective point for monster conjuring items of meticulous design. And whilst I would love an excuse to include that movie on a list again, even more interesting and packed to the rafters with cursed crap is the Warren's artifact room from the Conjuring universe. The crux of this entry lies with Annabelle the doll, whose demon inhabitant manages to break out the rest of the entities in the room with her in Annabelle Comes Home. There, we see everything from a television set that predicts the future, to a ringing phone that causes death upon answering, to a possessed board game full of evil hands, each one coming together under the banner of Annabelle to wreak havoc on the Warren household. Together, they are a veritable army of evil that have an arsenal of weapons at their disposal for every type of pain. It's not a room you'd want to go poking around in, and one that if unlocked to its true potential, aka not under the control of Annabelle alone, would absolutely devastate the local area. 5. Sarah Bellow's Book – Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark originated from a novel, so it's only fair that the power of this film is lodged firmly within the pages of a book. The tragic story of Sarah Bellows is what underlines the narrative of the movie, a woman tortured by her own family and locked in a basement. Her only reprieve comes in writing her own horror stories, which manifest with deadly consequences when her writing book is discovered by a group of teenagers in the abandoned house she died in. The book is powerful for a myriad of reasons, not the least that all the things the book conjures aren't counted in any way. It brings about unstoppable, paranormal monsters that always win, written into existence to deal death before disappearing to never be seen again. The pale lady, the jangly man, the spider that impregnates a girl's face with thousands of books. All are the stuff of nightmares, and all are born from one single, indestructible source. The book is a powerhouse of horror best left alone. Disturbing Sarah Bellows comes with consequences written in blood, and there is no way of erasing them. 4. The Headless Horseman's Skull – Sleepy Hollow Skulls are a surefire way to making anything look that little bit more badass. Got a cool band logo that needs making metal as hell? Stick a skull on it! Got a bookshelf that's looking particularly nerdy with all those dumb, dusty tomes? Throw a skull on it! Got a headless horseman going around separating heads from shoulders in the name of a tricksy witch's curse? To be honest, that already sounds badass enough, but there's still a skull involved! The big old head bone of a Hessian mercenary is used throughout Sleepy Hollow to command his undead body to kill whoever the owner desires, with the vengeful Lady Mary Van Tassel using it to wipe out the family Families that wronged her as a child. Unkillable, determined, and pin sharp in his pursuit of his victims, owning the skull of the Hessian is a powerful position to be sitting in, with the ability to murder any and all with little resistance thanks to his honed and deadly skills. Fortunately, even though he's too evil to set foot in church, he's luckily a dab hand with a harpoon too. 3. The Black Cauldron The Black Cauldron Dark fantasy at its finest, Disney's dabble in animated horror is one of the best movies of its kind. Telling the story of Taran and his prescient porky pet, the young pig keeper must stop the uprising of the evil horned king by locating the Black Cauldron, an artifact of power that the king desires to take control of in a bid to create an undead army and, naturally, rule the world. Really, undead army and rule the world spells out quite how powerful this item really is, chock full of magic that breaks the laws of life, death, and just about anything else a user might want from its spooky depths. When the cauldron is eventually reached by the heroes of our adventure, it spirals out of control and takes down a whole castle, then consumes the Horned King whilst returning the skeletal army it had begun to raise back to their eternal slumber. That is some serious wallop. The Black Cauldron is an underrated movie by all counts, and its titular pot is one of the strongest supernatural items to grace a horror movie. For a PG rating, this one really raised the stakes. 2. The Device – Kronos The vampire legend has been taken in just about every direction in cinema since its inception, but none have quite the charm and strangeness of Guillermo del Toro's Kronos. The device is that of a weird golden scarab, a mechanical thing that has been crafted by an alchemist to grant the user youth, vitality, and a healthy appetite for blood. But not only that. It essentially makes the user indestructible. Our protagonist is drowned in the boot of a sunken car, stabbed, beaten, and eventually throws himself off a building, each time reviving when he should have faced such 
certain death. Imbibed with the power of the device, he is a vampire in all but name, avoiding the sun and thirsting for the red stuff throughout the movie in exchange for becoming this all-powerful being. In the wrong hands, the device of Kronos could change the face of the world as we know it, or at the very least, cause an uprising in vampiric shenanigans which would be almost impossible to eradicate. Good thing it's easy enough to stamp on, I guess. 1. A Crucifix the most powerful item in horror movie history isn't a one-off design that grants the characters insane abilities, or houses a malicious entity, or even one that conjures unknowable, immeasurably strong beings into our plane of existence. It is the one thing that stands a chance at fighting off malicious spirits time and again throughout horror movie history, and that is the humble crucifix, or at the very least, the faith that it represents. Able to burn creatures that get too close with a swift jab, dispel evil with a simple flourish, or protect wearers from harm and possession through good old accessorizing, the crucifix has long stood as the go-to for religious figures and desperate non-believers alike. And a lot of the time, the bloody thing works. Holy water is a close second place, with Christian paraphernalia serving as the backbone of protection against the forces of darkness in a ridiculous number of horror movies. Whilst the trope is often subverted now that we've grown and moved on from the cliché, faith still remains an integral part of fighting evil in horror movies, and is the most powerful weapon you can deploy against tricksy ghosts, demons, and even the odd alien, if you're asking M. Night Shyamalan.